Hello guys and welcome back to new video. Today we will do mining on RTX 3090 NVIDIA graphics card. I have a here in my PC Zotac RTX 3090 but this will work for any graphics card. Also AMD. I will do tutorial on my graphics card and the numbers that I put in will work for my graphics card and also other RTX 3090 series. But to find the optimal setting for your graphics card you will have to tap it for yourself. Now let's go over there to my computer and do it together. So what you want to do first is go to the nice hash. Here you have to make a new profile, get started. I already have created the profile but you, I trust that you know that do it for yourself. So after you have done this you will download nice hash miner to your computer, then install it and after the installation is done open it and do not click mine just yet. Go back to the page nice hash miner you will get something like this. What you need is to create a to take a mining address then copy it and open, when you open the program it will ask for this address paste it and then you can start mining. But first, wait just a little bit more. Now you need to download MSI Afterburner. Go to official MSI Afterburner page and download it, install it and then come back right. After you open the MSI Afterburner you will get something like this. Don't be afraid if it looks a little bit different than mine. It's just the skin. You can change it to, every, to which one you like. Here you have a core voltage power limit, temper limit, core clock, memory clock and fan speed. And here we have a profiles. Overclocking for mining is different than overclocking for gaming. I have now already overclocked my graphics card to gaming. We will reset it with this. And now we we'll start from the scratch. First you want to do is pull down the power limit to number that you like and it's best for your graphics card. I usually put it to 75 but some miners do it at 70 or 80 percent. You can click here and type 70. Temperature limit is 76 percent. That's okay. We will not touch it. Now for the core clock. You can leave it here but you can also undervolt your graphics card. So it use less power but give you better results. So what you want to do is press CTRL and F and you will see this graph. Now when you, when you open this, dial it to minus 150, press enter and it's set. Now grab it for 900, it's a little bit tricky to get it over, and go to some save values. Let's say here, press apply, boom. You now have a graph. Now the last thing what you have to do is fans. Do not let them do auto. It is better to use 60 to 80 percent. I usually use 65 because that is not too loud and the graphics card stay in a nice 55 until 60 degrees and apply. Now you have undervolted and also overclocked your graphics card for the mining. Now you want to save this profile. Save this profile somewhere else. Let's say on a 5. So click here. Save and then number 5. And you know this is for the mining. These other 4 profiles can be for your gaming or something else. So we are done here. Let us open our nice hash miner. Or if in your case you already have it open. You will have to wait a little bit. Before you click start mining. Go to the benchmark. Click here to show all. Probably this will be all selected. Select disable all and go down to Dagger Hashimoto Phoenix and allow it. You can also allow Dagger Hashimoto Excavator if you like and any other but these two are bringing the most money for your graphics card. And click start benchmark. My graphics card already done benchmark. Wait until it's done. When it's done click start mining. And there, your graphics card is now mine. We are mining currently 
7.6 euros. Now, what you want to do is go to the settings and here you have your address copied. You can give your name to your machine. You can choose uh, to know how much you're earning per day, hour, week, month or year. And very important, you can change your server location. Because I am in Europe, I have used Europe Amsterdam, but you choose the country that is closest to you. Appearance you can change between light and dark. Of course you have to enable dark one because it's the best one. <laughs> Just kidding. When you are finished, go back to dashboard and you will see if you let it for 24 hours, you will earn 7.7 euros on this graphics card. You can also increase this by giving more power to your graphics card, but you are risking your graphics card to die on you. So it's better to have some safe values because your graphics card have to work for long hours and without shutting down. So it's always best to dial it down a little bit. One euro more doesn't bring you a lot, but if your graphics card dies, it's expensive to replace it and especially now when it's very hard to find a new graphics card. After you have done this, there are some websites that you need to have. I have created here a profile where I put all the important files, uh, important websites for your mining. First is cryptocurrency prices. It's a core, mi core market com. We can shut this down. Here you can see what is happening with the prices of Bitcoin and other currencies. Here is very important what to mine. So. What you want to do is find the graphics card that you have. I have a 3090 series, but there is no 3090 here. So let's say we choose 3080 series. And we want to mine E-Dash or O to C. Here you will click the price per dollar for your kilowatt hour. You can find it in your bill from your electricity provider and type it here. Let's say 0.3 or 0.1. Click profitability in 24 hours. Click calculate. When it's done, if we mine Ethereum, we will earn 14.66 dollars per day. And the last address that you need is Coinbase. So Coinbase will allow you to pull the Bitcoin from NiceHash to your own wallet. What you want to do is create a profile here. You know already to do it. And when you create your profile, you will link your bank, you will provide your personal information, blah, 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 blah. And when you're done, come back. If you want to pull your cash, your Coinbase, you will have to click here with row. Then choose connect your Coinbase account. Uh, typically you want to get this uh, money from the nice hash as soon as possible to Coinbase because it's safer and you can choose then to put it down to your personal account in euros or dollars or you can keep it as a Bitcoin. Now you just leave this graphics card and observe. Come back in an hour or two and see how it's done. If it's everything all right, temperature will stay at the same place and you will mine steadily your money. Now we are earning 8.7 euros Sometimes it can go up or down. I hope this is a little bit more clear to you and you can do this by yourself. If you have any questions, please write down in the comments and I will try to answer them. And until next time, see ya.